So later on, we'll go through what that means in terms of the championship standing. Still early days in the series overall. But what I can tell you is that Tony Bowes extended his championship lead over Gabriel Marseille by another two points by winning each of the opening two rounds. And Marseille has failed to make it through to today's grand final. So Tony Bow, it looks as though either Jaime Busto or Adam Rack is going to be his closest championship rival, leaving Wiener Neustadt tonight. But can either of them make up any points on Bo? 23 world championship points now, Bo. 13 world championship points for Jaime Busto and nine for Adam Raga. So a significant lead already at this stage for Tony Bo. 10 points that uh, can't be made up in this uh, grand final. So Tony Bo will leave Wiener Neustadt as your championship leader, even if he finishes in third position tonight. If uh, Jaime Busto were to win it, he would uh, move on to 23, and Bo is already on that 23-point uh, score. As, uh, we see Adam Ragger here building up to be the first rider out into the sections. As I say, Tony Bo, the, uh, the worst that could happen here would be 12 points for him, uh, plus the two he scored earlier on. So uh, looking in a very strong position in the context of the championship overall. As uh, I say, Jaime Busto with victory could move on to, uh, to 33. Tony Bo already guaranteed more than that, thanks to his two bonus points, plus the 12 he'd get if he finished third in this grand final. Right, enough of the permutations. It's time for the business. Adam Raga bouncing back from a fourth position, first time out at extra Barcelona. He's already guaranteed a return to the podium to extend his record at the top of the sport for career podiums. It'll be at number 123 for Adam Raga. But what position will it be? Can he peg back any points on Tony Bowe? and indeed on Jaime Busto, who sits ahead of him in the championship standings. Raga, six points behind Gabriel Marseille after round one. Marseille only scoring nine tonight for fourth position. So uh, Raga, if he can take second place tonight, will move level with Marseille in the point standings. Taking his time before we get underway with section one. It's uh, the same section one we saw back in round number two. Here we go then. Familiar territory for these uh, riders. Say this section completed previously. Adam Ragga then embarks on it, but we've only got a minute now to complete the whole section. So far, so good for Adam Ragga. Single mark given by Moreno Piazza. His close rivals here, Jaime Busto and Tony Bo, the men with whom he's shared the World Championship podium in recent years, watching closely on. Raga making a mid-air turn. And through to the exit gate, he falls. Thankfully, he doesn't look to be in uh, too much discomfort. And he's still got a smile on his face as well. So. A single drop mark there for Adam Ragger and a solid start. A familiar section from round number one. Next up then will be Jaime Busto. Has failed this section back in round one, remember? We'll see how he gets on here. Adam Raga had a decent amount of time left on the clock, so I don't think Busto will be in too many difficulties in terms of time. What a fast-paced second round it was tonight. Uh, they'll be glad to have a little bit more time to, uh, to contemplate their section as they make their way through to decide on their line. I mean, Busto more or less matching the route of Adam Raga thus far. 40 seconds still to go. Landing completed successfully. Still clean as well for Busto who uh, has an opportunity here to move a mark clear of Adam Ragger in this grand final. Busto, who was second for so much of the, uh, the grand final at Extra Barcelona, only to lose second place late on. Started the night strongly as well by winning the uh, opening round. Since he's on 13 World Championship points, 12 plus one. I mean, Busto then threw clean in section one. Takes a single mark lead over Adam Ragger. 
Now it's over to Tony Bow. Try and match him. Bow needs a clean here to maintain his advantageous last starting position when they head into section two. Another one that's familiar from the uh, opening stages yes. of competition tonight. Section one then for Tony Bow. Low scoring start to this grand final. Adam Ragger on one, Jaime Busto was clean. Tony Bow with 100 career appearances now on the board. He's won an astonishing 74 of those. He's only been off the podium 12 times in his whole career. 101 appearances and now 89 podiums. But the uh, podium isn't good enough for Tony Bow. He wants a win and his rivals could be taking points from one another. With Gabriel Marseille failing to make the grand final today. Adam Ragger obviously failing to make the uh, podium first time out in Barcelona. If Tony Bow can be victorious tonight, then he will really take a commanding lead with him to extra Pamplona in two weeks' time. Another visit to, uh, to Spain. Five in the world leaving extra Barcelona all Spaniards as Tony Bow makes it through to the exit then of section one. That was uh, almost too straightforward for both Busto and Bow. And Raga will feel that he's wasted an opportunity to stick with them in section one. He drops a mark behind. And uh, something of an unforced error. So leaving round uh, section one with five to go. Adam Raga on one at the bottom of the pile. Jaime Busto will maintain his second starting position. And Tony Bow again will be last out through this second section. Again, it's familiar territory, so uh, when it is a section you've been through before, you don't want to be dropping marks. Slightly different routes uh, through the repeated sections. Saw a little bit of a change there first time out in section one. That's the other route now. The other lane, as it were, through section two for Adam Racker. Here we go. Dexterous work though from Raga, no great problems thus far. Single mark to his name, he can do with being clean to apply the pressure to his rivals. Already with ground to find, and that's against the likes of Bo in particular, but also Jaime Busto is far from straightforward. And even more so for Raga when he's first out through the sections. He could have done with a clean first time out. He's not going to get a clean here in section two either. Single dab of his left foot. 20 seconds on the clock then. The wrong time in his favour. Making his way through the trunks, Adam Ragger. Not a lot of time in his favour, you'd have to say. Nice work on the turn though. And through to the exit gate with seven seconds still on the clock. Adam Ragger moves on to a two mark score from two sections. Highly creditable. Jaime Busto and Tony Bow are thus far both clean. Jaime Busto then up next. Section two for the Gas Gas representative. Two marks is lead over Adam Ragga. Can he bank those two marks now? Four sections still to go after this one. It's uh, a high pressure situation in the grand final and particularly when it's been a low-scoring start. Jaime Busto. It was his temperament and the way he was unable to handle the pressure first time out in Barcelona that uh, cost him second place on the night. Cost him three World Championship points. He won't want to drop too many more World Championship points like that. Doesn't look like anyone has been able to go with uh, Tony Bow in what we've seen of this season thus far. Busto nicking a point from him in uh, round one of X trial Barcelona. Tony Bow has been unbeaten since in round two in Barcelona, the grand final there as well. And in each of the opening two rounds of competition here this evening, and he's had a big advantage as well. Jaime Busto then through to the end of section two with just a single mark on observation. So that uh, means that Tony Bow is a clear leader and he'll remain a clear leader if he can clean this one nod as he acknowledges where he dropped that mark. His assistant was asking him, I think, if he agreed with that uh, that score, but it was a nod of acceptance from 
Jaime Busto. So as I say, Tony Bowe, clean in section one, has an opportunity to move clear at the top of the leaderboard. If he can become the first rider now, clean through section two. Tony Bowe, three times winner of extra Wiener Neustadt. Making his way through section two. So far, so good. Teetering there on the top of that trunk. It's not really long enough for the bike. Good work on the landing, though, from Bo. That was exceptional. They make it look so easy, but we're talking about massive leaps here. And look at the size of some of the elements as well. Left foot goes down for Tony Bo. Oh, he's going to drop another mark potentially here for leaning. Moreno Piazza looks it in, and it is another mark, and that's a failure. And Tony Bo fails section two. And now he's going to be left with an awful lot of work to do. Three marks behind Adam Raga, four down on Jaime Busto, who leads extra Wiener Neustadt. And that just goes to show how quickly things can change. Bo makes his way to the exit gate. He doesn't agree with it, but it's absolutely spot on. Moreno Piazza is dead right about the scoring there because Bo took two marks. He dropped the sump again. That was another mark. Then the right foot went down. Bo probably thinks it should be three, but he lifted the bike up and it went back down. The scoring is correct, I'm afraid, Mr. Bo. Moreno Piazza has been absolutely spot on on everything he's called tonight. And I agree with him again in section two of the grand final. And I don't always say, uh, say that I'm in agreement with the section observers, I can tell you that. But tonight, but Piazza's been absolutely inch perfect on those calls. And Tony Bo might not like it, but he now trails in third position in extra Wiener Neustadt. And it's up to him to find the performance in the remaining four sections to make up that lost ground. Jaime Busto leads extra Wiener Neustadt on one, Adam Racker on two. And Tony Bow on five. First rider to fail a section in today's grand final. And because he has dropped to the bottom of the pile, he's now lost his advantageous last starting position. He is now third seed for section three. First rider out through this one then. Tony Bow really up against it. New section for the grand final as well. So he's opening new ground. Nice course we've had this evening, you'd uh, have to say. Really well put together. Enough to separate the riders in round one and round two. And we saw completely different results between the two rounds. This grand final as well. Challenging Tony Bow last time out. Bow then needs to try and be perfect in all of the remaining sections. This is a tough step. Very tough. But look at the height of it. And a really steep start to the step as well. You see Carlos Bernardo waiting for Bow at the top. And Bow arrives there. Brilliant work from him. Remains to be seen whether the others can match that. Tony Bo warmed himself up, positioned the bike where he wanted it. Another step to make it up here. Only 15 seconds on the clock. Far from straightforward, this in the grand final. But Bo makes it through. Riding with some anger there, I think, after uh, section two. He bounces back. Second clean of the grand final for Bo. Five marks is still his score. So if either Raga or Busto fail this section three, they would drop behind him. Tight scoring once again. The three riders covered by only four marks. Adam Raga next up through section three. He's on two marks. Ima Busto leads us on one. He'll be the last rider out through section three. By then he'll know exactly what he needs to do. I don't know whether that's just going to place him under more pressure, frankly. He uh, is a rider who struggled to absorb the pressure in the past. When he's relaxed, he looks incredible at times. Adam Raga has been there and done it all before. Multi-time world champion, of course, in X-Trial. Time uh, on occasion is his issue, but uh, looks as though he's got enough in this grand final, in the opening two sections. And Tony Bow had a fair amount of time in hand at the end of section three. Big step here. A lot to ask for Adam Raga. He's up, but he isn't. He's caught by his assistant. It is a five mark score in section three. And that will move him on to seven. So two behind Tony Bow. 
Those are the two marks that Braga dropped in sections one and two. That's the difference between them once again. Halfway mark, Bo on five, Braga on seven. Now it's all about Jaime Busto. Can he get through section three to lead Tony Bo at the halfway mark of the grand final? I did say that that step was going to be a tough one. It's the highest, but it's also got a steep start to it with no real kicker and no way to, to fire your way up. Tony Bow made it look easy. Can Jaime Busto do the same? Third rider out. Leader of Extra Alvina Neustadt, Jaime Busto. Got to keep his composure here. He's been gifted the advantage by Tony Bow's error, errors, I should say, in section two. Now it's up to Busto to defend that lead. Can he absorb and soak up the pressure? Can he make it up this mammoth step? Really a massive ask. Super right for Tony Bo to get up there. Jaime Busto's turn and he's done it too. Jaime Busto is up in section three. And this is an opportunity for him to maintain his lead. He's got to keep his cool. Less than 20 seconds. One more step to come. Jaime Busto maintains his advantage at the halfway mark in extra Alvina Neustadt. And when he's riding like that, celebrating at the end of the sections, on the back wheel, playing to the gallery, that cheeky smile that he does, then you know he is riding high on confidence. Busto leads on one. Bo second on five. Raga trails on seven. So Adam Raga now drops back into the third seeding position. He'll be first out through section number four. Another section that uh, is familiar, at least to some extent. Adam Raga. 40-year-old veteran. A little bit of work to do here. Two marks behind Tony Bo and six marks now down on Jaime Busto. And the more we get through this uh, grand final, the, uh, the further that puts him out of touch. Busto with just that single dropped mark. Raga somewhat fortunate to squeeze into the grand final in the end. Doing it on a tie break against uh, Gabriel Marseille. But the uh, rules were the other way round, weren't they? At the opening round, Marseille just about squeezing through in the grand final. Up goes Adam Raga. It's a single mark for leaning. Big step that one, though, so Raga doing well with it. 30 seconds still on the clock. Bruno Piazza watching on. Raga up again. Again, a mark taken for leaning. What he needed to get there. Under these eight frames from earlier on in the night as well. Ten seconds. It's tight on time, this one. But Raga is through. Two drop marks, certainly. We saw uh, both of those marks for leaning quite clearly. And that score is now confirmed. So nine overall in the grand final for Adam Raga. Tony Bow five. Jaime Busto only one. Increasingly, as we go through this grand final, it's looking more and more like a head-to-head -head between the master and the apprentice. Tony Bow, 16 times world champion. Jaime Busto, who started his X-Trial career with Repsol Honda, found himself too much in the shadow of Tony Bow, always being referred to as the, the future, the man who would take over Bow's throne. Up until this season, though, Busto has been far, far too inconsistent. Took a single victory last year. Extra Andorra La Vella going his way. Rare occasion that uh, Tony Bo suffers a defeat in Extra. Winner as well in Extra Paris in 2018. But uh, Bo on that occasion was riding with a broken back. In then to section four. Tony Bo. Five marks his score. Won't want to drop any more than that, or he'll give Busto a, uh, a spare section, effectively, as a buffer. The lead. Bo struggling. Bo is down. Oh, and his assistants caught the front wheel, so he couldn't... Uh, and Bo's now fallen off the bike as well. Well, I thought Bo might have a go at jumping back to see if he could try that step again. 
but his assistant catches the front wheel, so no chance of that outside assistance. It's a five mark score, and Bo slips behind Adam Ragger onto 10. Shocks abound in Wien and Oystad. This could be a massive night to reignite the World Championship. Imagine if Tony Bo were to finish third. Completely unheard of. Jaime Busto now has a nine mark lead. Three sections still to ride. Will he squander that or will he walk away victorious? It will be the third time in his career. You sense that Bo is feeling the pressure now. That fiasco in section four was so uncharacteristic of Tony Bo. Trying to get through clean. And uh, instead went down to a five. So this is where Bo was caught out. Raga made it up here with a single mark, dropped another mark later on in the section. Important moment here for Jaime Busto. He needs to ride it like it's any other section. Up he goes. Brilliant ride. Lands it on the sump. So it's a mark for uh, leaning. The feet didn't come off the foot peg, so it's just the one. Half of the time allocated for section four, still remaining for the second half of the section. Here we go. His step also cost a mark for Adam Ragger. Busto takes a mark, but he can afford to because Tony Bow has failed this section. Only 10 seconds or so on the stopwatch now. Busto needs to push late on here, and he does so. It's two marks for Jaime Busto in section four. He moves on to three. He now has a six mark lead with only two sections remaining. And Jaime Busto looking odds on favorite at this stage for victory in X-Trail Wiener Neustadt. We've only ever had one previous winner of this X-Trial. Three years and consecutively, Tony Bow Took his 50th career win here in 2017 on our last visit. He's added another 24 victories since. Will he make it up to the X-Trial victory number 75 tonight? Really is going to need to dig deep here. Tony Bow, two sections to go. Trails Jaime Busto by seven. And at this stage, you'd say it looks more like a fight for second, wouldn't you? Between him and Adam Ragger. Only a mark between the two of them. The two veterans, two oldest riders in the field. Adam Ragger at 40, Tony Bow at uh, 36. Slight hold up here by the looks of things before we get underway with section five. Now we're ready to go with Tony Bow. So many times down the years we've talked about the Tony Bow show. He's been the one to do things that others have found impossible. But unfortunately, he's made the possible look impossible in this grand final so far. Sections two and four, both completed by Raga and Busto, both failed by Tony Bow. Well, if he pulls off a victory tonight, it will be one of the most remarkable of an already extraordinary career. 30 seconds for Tony Bow in section five. Could do with a couple of long sections to try and put the others under time pressure. That's where Bow excels. I'm nothing fancy for Tony Bow to have a good crack at the end of this section five. He's rushing through now because he knows this is a long one. 10 seconds. Again, great work from Bo on the back wheel. And Tony Bo with four seconds to spare is clean in section five. Is that enough to get his night back on track? We desperately need Jaime Busto to fail this section five. It'll take us to a last section decider. 10 marks still for Bo, nine for Raga, three for Busto. Any drop marks here for Adam Ragger. Bring Tony Bow back into that fight for second position. There's only one mark between them. What a competitive grand final we've got here this evening. Tony Bow had extra Barcelona wrapped up nice and early. Ahmed Busto might have an opportunity here to, uh, to wrap up the extra with a section to spare in Wiener Neustadt. Adam Ragger in now to section five. It's a long one, so Raga cannot afford to waste any time. Cracking on with it here. Adam Raga trails Jaime Busto by six marks. 
these both uh, Raga and Bo are going to be reliant on Jaime Busto failing this section to bring them right back into contention. Here we are with Adam Raga. Just over 20 seconds on the clock. He's a bit worse off than Tony Bo. He needs to find something here late on. We'll run out of time. Bo finished the section with four seconds to spare. You'd say that Raga's probably about four seconds behind, although he's made up a lot of ground there. He's going to take a mark for leaning as a result. So he gets out of the section, and that was worth taking that mark for leaning, uh, because had he failed, had he failed to make it on time, that would have been a failure. So a single mark for leaning then, that moves Adam Raga on to 10. So Tony Bowe and Adam Raga tied on 10, but Jaime Busto leads them by seven marks. So, it's straightforward, isn't it? If Jaime Busto gets through this section with a maximum of one mark scored, he wins X-Trial Wiener Neustadt. If he drops two marks, that would move him on to five. We would go down to a last section decider. Jaime Busto with an opportunity to claim his third victory at X-Trial World Championship level. How does he deal with the pressure in the grand final? Tony Bo can deal with the pressure tonight. A bit of a momentary uh, wobble there for Jaime Busto. You start to think back to the final two sections of Extra Barcelona. That's what he can't afford to do. Let's throw the night away. Bo's gifted him an opportunity with failures in sections two and four. Only failures in these uh, two remaining sections are going to be able to bring Tony Bo back into contention. Jaime Busto, it's all in his own hands now. One mark or better, and he wins extra Wiener Neustadt. Momentarily bounced towards the course boundaries, but uh, bounced himself uh, back within the lines again. He's tight on time here, very tight on time. But Jaime Busto is through in section five, and Jaime Busto wins extra Wiener Neustadt. His first victory of the 2023 campaign. He leaves the Masters, the former world champions, Tony Bowe and Adam Ragger, scrapping for second in the final section of the night. Seven marks his margin. The celebrations begin for Gas Gas and for Jaime Busto. Still got one section to ride, but it will be just for pride. Busto brilliant in the grand final. Albert Cabestan, team manager, comes over to congratulate him. Kavistan said in the winter, the reason for going for, with Busto was simple. It was the best chance of getting a world title. Busto did show something of that form in the opening round of uh, Extra Barcelona with the first world championship point of the season. The night rather faded away from him. How now he will rue the, uh, the drop marks later on. Uh, drop points later on, I should say, in the grand final. And he made those mistakes in the final two sections. Cost him three World Championship points. Now, Tony Bo must exercise some damage limitation here. It's Bo versus Raga. For second position. So many times these two have gone head-to-head -head for world titles, of course. Adam Raga won four world titles. And then Tony Bo came along and won 16 in a row. They've won the last 20 world titles between them. But today, it's only for second position. Jaime Busto looks like he's ready to mix it for a world title. Akisa Fujinami looks a little bit more concerned than he's needed to be previously about his man, Tony Bo. It's ahead between Bo and Raga in this final section. And of course, if they're tied, we will have to go to a tie-break as well. See if things resolve themselves here. But this has been a very, very tough section in the two previous rounds. I suspect that they're debating about the starting order here. Now, my understanding is that uh, if the points are the same, the starting order doesn't change. Uh, but we will uh, defer to the FIM referee, David Rogers, on that matter. Tony Bo trailed going into section five, therefore he was bottom seed and he remains bottom seed uh, by uh, being on the same score as Adam Ragger. That's my understanding. But Tony Bo is turning away from the section to congratulate Jaime Busto.
still the discussions about the start. I'm quite sure that they're discussing the starting order here. I just wanted to see if I could uh, catch anything there of the conversation, but was unable to do so. Uh, Tony Bow then lines up at the start of section six. That's my understanding, is that uh, Tony Bow remains the first rider out, remains third seed. So Tony Bow will be the first out in section number six. Tough section all night. Big section now for Bow and Raga. If they both fail, we're going to a tie break. That's entirely plausible given what we've seen thus far. Tony Bow in deep concentration now. made it to the highest point back down the staircase the other side 30 seconds still on the clock and this is what's caught everyone out so far even Tony Bow the great master as he got something in his locker a little bit different to what we've seen from him in the two previous rounds 20 seconds to go Tony Bow in section six to try and haul himself out of the basement oh he's done it brilliant from Tony Bow absolutely incredible it's not been his night. He's not going to be your extra winner here in Wiener Neustadt. It's the first time he's been deposed from top spot at this venue, but he's pulled off another sensational ride to finish the night on a relative high. Now, will it finish the night? Or can Adaraga keep the fight for second position going? Jaime Busto will be begging for a Raga special because if, it, if there's ever an opportunity to take world championship points from Tony Bow, you've got to capitalize on it. Rack has been able to do it down the years. 38 times extra winner. Hasn't been a winner since uh, extra Barcelona in 2019. He certainly nicked one from Tony Bow that night. This is still the second position. Adam Raga and Tony Bow tied on 10. Any drop marks for Raga here, and he will be consigned to third position. So we're into section six. The hardest part still to come. And yet, any drop marks here would also leave Adam Raga in third position in this grand final. Well, it's going to be a dramatic uh, finale, that's for sure. We didn't get uh, a fight in the final section for first place as Raga goes down and that settles your positions tonight Adam Raga third on 15 marks Tony Bow second on 10 and regardless of what Jaime Busto does in his final ride he is already victorious here in Wiener Neustadt seven up on Tony Bow just for pride then for Jaime Busto in section six and any possible psychological advantage as well Tony Bow defeated here in Austria. So it's Jaime Busto. For section number six, the X trial already won. Not used to being in this position is Busto, but did a great job at X trial Andorra La Vella late last season. Winner here today. Took the opening round of X trial Barcelona. All the signs point to the fact that it is getting closer and closer at the top. And that I suspect is why Tony Bow crumbled in the grand final this evening. Thankfully for Bow, he'd already picked up two points by topping the uh, standings in the opening two rounds. Now he's at it. Oh, Busto is down. Busto can't quite get up. So Tony Bow ends with an outstanding ride in section six. The only man to make it up that section all night long. It's enough to give him second position, but it is not enough to take uh, the victory away from Jaime Busto, full credit to him. And it is the young Basque rider who uh, takes victory at Extra Vina Neustadt. And all that remains is podium celebrations and final calculations in terms of world championship points. What I can tell you is that Tony Bo takes uh, second position. Jaime Busto is your winner. So uh, in terms of points, 
uh, 35 points plus the three bonus points, but Tony Bow on 38. Meanwhile, for Jaime Busto, victory this evening. He was third at the opening round for 12 points, plus a bonus point for him in round one of Extra Barcelona. That puts him on 33. So Tony Bow is still your world championship leader, but I said he would be regardless of what happened in that grand final. And uh, Jaime Busto takes the third victory of his career. An outstanding night as far as Busto is concerned. And he now only trails by five points in the world championship pecking order. Well, for the third time in his extra world championship career, Jaime Busto is a winner. Winner in Andorra La Vella in 2022. Winner for the first time here in Wiener Neustadt. Hey, Jaime. Congratulations. Amazing victory at Gas Gas Home. Yeah, I'm very happy with this victory at Gas Gas Home. The first and second lap was really great for me. I have a little um, mistakes, but the final was perfect and I'm very happy. Thank you. Well, a man of few words, he always has been, uh, Jaime Busto, but he's happy enough with his victory tonight. And of course, as he remarked there, a home event for Gas Gas as well. So a special night as far as the, uh, the factory are concerned. You can see some of the Gas Gas branding around the arena floor. And uh, Jaime Busto celebrates uh, a home win. So we had a, a home win in Spain first time out for Repsol Honda. And uh, now we've had Gas Gas victorious here in Austria. And uh, a worthy observation that. So your final results then. Jaime Busto, your winner. Eight marks in the end because of that failure in section six. But you've got the job done with three cleans in the opening five sections. Tony Bow also had three cleans in those opening five, but he'd failed two. So ultimately, it comes down to the number of failures. Jaime Busto with a single failure. Tony Bow with two. Raga with two as well. But Tony Bow had four cleans. Adam Raga didn't have a single clean in that grand final, which is why he trails in the end by five. And that means that uh, 20 World Championship points are given out to Jaime Busto, 15 for second place to Tony Bow, plus the two that uh, he scored in the opening two rounds of the night. 12 go to Adam Raga, so he moves on to 21, but he will uh, still uh, find himself uh, behind Gabriel Marseille, who is on 24. There's your uh, night's classification, the results from each of the stages of competition. Tony Bow top in rounds one and two, as well as on the combined scores, therefore. Jaime Busto uh, had a little bit of ground to make up after the opening round. He managed to haul back the lost margin to Aniel Gelabert and Gabriel Marseille to move through to the grand final as second seed. Adam Raga beats Gabriel Marseille to return to the podium, but still trails him in the uh, World Championship standings uh, overall. So it looks as though we're just about ready now for our podium celebrations. And the first man up is Adam Raga. And boy, is he going to be relieved about that because uh, missing out last time out in extra Barcelona will have uh, left a, a sour taste in his mouth, not least because it was his home round of venue where he's performed so well down the years but uh, particularly because it was the first round of the season and uh, not a confidence-boosting start for Adam Racker, but he's made up for it here tonight. Second place goes the way of Tony Bow. Is this the season where Bow finally comes under some major pressure? He certainly looked like a man under pressure in the grand final here this evening. Second place for Tony Bow, not a position he's accustomed to. No fairy tale 75th victory for him tonight. The wait continues. Podium number 89 for Bo. It's second position, though, importantly, he takes a few points away from, uh, from Adam Raga in that final section. What a brilliant performance it was in section six from Tony Bo in the grand final. But it's Jaime Busto. Looks almost shy to be up on the top step of the podium, but what a night it has been as far as he is concerned. Faultless performance in the grand final. Saved his best till last because Bo had looked a class apart earlier in the evening. But Jaime Busto with three cleans, only one failure. Dropped just three marks in five sections. And that's been the key to his victory tonight. Adam Raga receives his third place trophy then. Podium number one, two, three. Extending his record in the sport. Appearance number one, four, four, also a record. Second place 
goes to Tony Bow. His 101st next trial appearance tonight. And as I said previously, podium number 89. He will still be your championship leader, leaving extra Wiener Neustadt. Most consistent man over the course of the two rounds with three bonus points, a first and a second place. Jaime Busto only one bonus point. A third place at extra Barcelona, and now a victory here in Wiener Neustadt. The Spanish national anthem then for Jaime Busto. Now by Kevastan, the team manager watching proudly on. A team that could just bring success back to Gas Gas. Been a long wait for them since their last triumph in the Extra World Championship. A long way still to go, of course, in 2023. Jaime Busto may well yet come to rue those uh, drop points at the season opener in extra Barcelona threw away three and uh, had it not been for that he would only be two down now on Tony Boat as it is he trails by five with a third place and a first as well as that single championship bonus point Tony Boat with three bonus points including both of the available bonuses tonight but he does drop five points in the grand final so five between the top two Gabriel Marseille maintains third position despite dropping off the podium tonight Adam Ragger with second position moves closer to those medal positions big gap then to the form of the rest of the pack you'd have to say Bernard Vincaz leading the best of the rest fifth overall on eight points remains to be seen whether that's enough for him to earn a nomination for extra Pamplona uh, next time out in two weeks' time. Aniol Jalabert will certainly be there. Sondre Hagel will return for that one. The uh, five permanent riders and just the two remaining event riders to be determined. Marco Mempor on his World Championship debut. Creditable wildcard outing the second round, just going away from him. And that leaves him bottom of the World Championship classification. I'm quite certain that isn't the last we will see of him at this level. So that's all from X-Trial Vienna Neustadt and from the Arena Nova for 2023. We'll be back in a fortnight for the first edition of X-Trial Pamplona, the season's second visit to Spain, the 25th of March. Join us then.